Welcome back. Today's exciting. I wanted to do an experiment. So I keep getting questions on body fat. How do you know how much body fat you have? Can you really tell how much body fat you have? What is the most accurate way to tell your percentage of body fat? And what about water retention? Because a lot of times people think they have extra fat, really, more often than not, it's water retention. Water retention can appear as fat. Cellulite is because of water retention. I will link a video below that uh, talks more about cellulite. But cellulite is not necessarily fat deposits, okay? So if you got rid of all of your water retention, I don't want to guarantee this because I don't know you. I don't know your lifestyle or your body. However, I can almost promise, almost, that cellulite that you have on your body is because of inflammation and water retention. Again, a video will be posted below in the description box of more info about that. Easiest way to tell at home. These are body fat calipers. I will post below in the description box the link where you could, where I got these, where you can get these, that you can get them on Amazon. Super inexpensive. Bodybuilders are uh, the majority of people that use these guys. So this is just a little pinch test. This will let you know how much body fat you are carrying. These are surprisingly accurate, okay? If you want more information on how to use them, please comment below. I will give you more info on that. The next tried and true, my best friend in fitness and telling body fat, this guy the pliable measuring tape. I will post a link below again of a video I did about this, how to use it, uh, why and such. So yeah, so this, basically, the scale is the biggest liar in the history of the world. Liar! Liar! Your basic scale, so let's say you don't have one of those bathroom scales that tells you the water retention and the fat percentage and blah blah. You just have a normal scale, whether it's analog, whether it's digital, what it is telling you is the force of gravity that is used to hold you to the planet. Gravity pulls everything else in the world toward the center of the earth also, including you. So your weight, my weight, will fluctuate three to five pounds in one day if I'm on my menstrual cycle, if I'm carrying extra water, Three to five pounds in a week is normal. That is nothing. And that is not fat. That doesn't mean that I've gained three to five pounds of fat. I can lose three pounds in one day of water retention. And I'm going to post a video about that in the future. So stay tuned. How to lose three pounds right quick. And no, it's not the unhealthy way. It's totally healthy. It's just eating in a way that drops water retention. I will be posting videos coming down the line about what I eat in a day, how to eat what to eat in a full day to lose water retention if you have an event coming up or whatnot. Anyhow, you measure yourself with this, okay? Don't use the stupid scale. So with this, if you're measuring yourself, what you would do is measure around the belly button. Uh, don't suck in. And when you put this around your body, stand up. Make sure you have proper posture. You're not sucking in. Make sure all the way around you that this is parallel with the floor. You don't want to be all like like this because obviously it's not going to be accurate, right? So use this guy. If your weight on the scale is staying the same, the measurements on this are getting smaller. That is guaranteed composition change, meaning you are dropping body fat and gaining muscle. So exciting. So the three most popular body scans going on right now. One is the bathroom scale, cost me 49 bucks and change. You will see it in the video. Next, I use the in-body body scanner, which a lot of very high profile uh, weight loss clinics and such uses. It is a very intelligent machine that just does the, uh, analyzes your body. So it does um, body water, intercellular water, how much water is in your cells, extracellular water, how much water is just floating around all willy nilly over here. It'll tell you the body fat percentage, tells you all kinds of things. You're gonna see that. And then we go up to the big guy. This is a very expensive machine. This machine right now is about $12,500. So this is again, this shows you a lot more than the in-body machine. Just for an example. So this is the in-body. 
It will show you body composition analysis, muscle fat analysis, obesity analysis, segmental lean, so the muscle. Where is the muscle in your body? It tells you that. Uh, and then a summary at the bottom. Your metabolic rate, your visceral fat level. Visceral fat is what you are need to be concerned with. Visceral fat is the fat around your organs. This can impede normal functioning of your organs. Okay, so this is from the Daiku body scanner, um, tons of pages. They aren't numbered, so I can't tell you how many pages, but like all parts of my body, what I need to know, what's going on in all parts of my body. I'm going to do a close up voiceover of this guy as well to give you a better idea. You get this back in email. You go back for a retest for any of these. You get retested. You can compare. Super exciting. Anyhow, which one's good? Which one sucks? Which one's the most accurate? Is it the crazy expensive one? Or honestly, is it this dollars thing? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go from $49 and change up to $12,500 and change. Let's see what's the most accurate. Let's go. Okay, so this is the scale. This scale is supposed to tell me my body fat percentage, my BMI, the bone density I've got going on. This is going to happen by electrical currents that get sent through these metal pieces. All right, user, I am player one. I am 5'5 five five in height. I am 35 years old. I'm going to step on this guy now. All right, see what she says. 119.1 pounds. This is showing 23 total pounds of body fat, which equates to 19.4% total body fat in my body. My bone is at 6.2%. And the last thing it shows is my total percentage of body water is 59%, and my BMI is 19.8. Now this is at one of the gyms that I go to. This is the in-body body scanner that I talked about earlier. Here you would put your weight, your height, your age. It then weighs you and then it tells you everything going on in your body. So here's my handy little printout. Intracellular water in pounds, extracellular water in pounds, dry lean mass in pounds, body fat mass. Hold up. My bathroom scale told me 5.6 more pounds in body fat than the in-body body scanner is showing. That is a huge difference and my bathroom scale was first thing in the morning. This one was about an hour after that. So continuing down the paper, my total weight 121.7. Again, my bathroom scale said 119. So this is way different. Body fat mass, 17.4 pounds again. BMI, 20.3 here. It was lower on my bathroom scale. And then this rest bit of the scan is showing where the muscle is in my body. Right arm, left arm, trunk. Right leg, left leg. Then we go down to body composition. So total weight, skeletal muscle mass, body fat percentage. And then on this side is the summary of everything. It also teaches you how to read the page properly. And then we go up to see where the fat is distributed in my body. And that covers this way. Onward to the super fancy Staiku body scanner. You stand on this platform. It rotates you around. There is a tower in the corner scanning me. Interesting to note, this was actually developed by tailors for very, very rich people that wanted their suits and other clothing to be perfectly tailored to their bodies without being touched. <laughs> so they made this machine. It once was $40,000, just to give you a bit of an idea. I don't know. I can't remember where I heard that, but that's what I heard. Another kind of funny fact about this is I was looking at the tower as it was scanning me and I noted inside the tower was Xbox and Xbox Connect. So I asked about that and they told me that it was actually more accurate than the scanner they were previously using, but just a little fact. So here is my printout. I am only going to show you the one page because that is all we need for the point and purpose of this video. However, it did show so many more things in my report. I do look forward to having it done again just to see what's going on. 
So as you can see, my name, age, I am female, my height and weight showed as 120 pounds on this one. Body fat percentage here, 20.3% and my weight in fat in pounds, 24 pounds here. All right. So just to recap, my body fat on my bathroom scale weighed in at 23 pounds, which is a lot closer to this than the in-body body scanner, which weighed me at 17.4 pounds. What'd you think? It's pretty interesting stuff, eh? I thought so. So if there is anything else you'd like me to review or test out for you in the fitness world, I would be more than happy to. Any gimmicky item, I don't mind sourcing that out, getting it, testing it out for you, uh, I will be your guinea pig. I am always my own best guinea pig. I never ever recommend a client of mine do anything unless I have done it first, always. All right, so as you can see, they are not going to give you the same results. So what can you believe? The best piece of advice I can give you is go by the mirror, use your eyeballs, Honestly, it's incredible and changes could be happening in your body. Have patience. It takes about four weeks on average for you to see changes. It takes about eight weeks on average for your friends and family to see changes. It takes about 12 weeks on average for people that don't really know you that well. It takes about 12 weeks for them to start seeing the changes. All right, so just please have patience. If you would like any more info on body fat or whatnot, please comment below and I will give you all the info I can. If uh, you would like to have a notification of when future videos are posted, please hit that little bell icon below and you will be notified each time I post a new video. Please subscribe to this channel. Please share this channel. This channel could help out so many people that are spending money for all kinds of things that I'm giving you for free all the time. I want to share what I know. It's huge. It's legit. It will work. I promise you it will work. I haven't seen it fail yet. So please give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining, interesting, helpful in any way. I will see you next time. Until then, have super amounts of fun in your life. I'll see you then. Bye.